Welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. We're talking about what is your war? Because we all have that war within. But Kelly Price is in the house. He's a documentary that came out today. Yes. Director, producer, a producer, director of a real story about your grandfather. Absolutely. Yes. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah. So uh, my great grandfather was a world class speed skater and uh, he was an immigrant Jew. So he came to the States in 1923, wanting a better life and uh, quickly started speed skating. Loved it. Um, became a world-class speed skater, was denied being in the Olympics because of who he was. And at the time, it was a, du a double stigma to be an immigrant and be Jewish. Um, so in sports, that, that wasn't allowed at the time. It was unheard of. Mm -hmm. um, and so I grew up hearing his stories, and I said, my God, like I need to do something with this. Years went by. I didn't do anything. Uh, my grandpa passed away. And you know what? I was sitting on a balcony in Los Angeles overlooking the city, and I said, I want to do something for him. I want to honor him. How can I do this? Well, I can't make a feature film about it because I've never directed before. But I think I can make a documentary about his life. I think I could do it. So I started making some calls and one thing led to another and I'm sitting here six years later and I have a movie about discrimination in sports. Wow, wow. congratulations. Let's take Thank a look you. at the trailer. Oh, thanks. Being Jewish to my father was, uh, I guess, a memory of I'm living in two different worlds. In Europe, being persecuted and families being killed. And then coming to the United States and that same persecution just stayed with them. Just stayed with the Jewish people. Anti-Semitism is not as prevalent as it was in the early stages of, of sport. Racism and sexism and prejudice have persisted even in the face of excellent athletes of all races and creeds and gender. This isn't the stuff of Hollywood lore. My great grandfather and the men and women who come after him don't die rich. Sometimes they're not even remembered, but they live real lives and their lives, their story deserves to be told. Because in the end, this is a story about us. Wow. You know, I can't help but think about um, your grandfather and thinking about how he obviously was very passionate. He lived this purposeful life and to become a you know, that level of a speed skater, you have to have some type of inspired action, I believe. So just imagine, don't you think about, I think about how mm. he, this is destiny, whether it came through in his lifetime or not, but his story came through. Right. His lineage, his purpose, his legacy through you, which is so beautiful, mm, right? Sure mm -hmm. So cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. As you were researching and producing this fantastic project, Thank what surprised you, you most, you know, in your research and in the interviews, anything that sort of is a highlight for you that you remember? Yeah, something that stood out uh, during the process. You know what? I, I realized um, that my grandpa looked at everything like a game. Mm. You know, business for him, sports for him, everything was a game. It was to get to the next level. Um, you know, and uh, it was to do it for himself. It wasn't for anybody else. It, he had a chip on his shoulder. He had something to prove. And you know, that's something that I could totally relate to in my life. And I think it's a common thread with all these athletes in the movie. They've experienced something special, uh, something that gives them the fight and determination and resilience and persistence that they have. Um, and I could relate so much to that, which is why um, I think I fought so much for this, just because um, I knew what it meant to my great grandfather. Uh, but then I was able to see all of these athletes struggling with it today. Mm. Let's talk about this, though, for a minute. You were saying how much you can relate yes. the mindset. You yes. didn't think you could make a feature, but you made a documentary. Yeah. Tell us a bit about that, though. About making... About your resilience of what you really oh. relate to and yeah. you overcoming what you thought was seemingly oh. impossible. Oh, for sure. I mean, I grew up with learning disabilities. Mm. You know, I mean, people... Uh, classified me as an outsider when I was growing up. I wasn't. I was very smart. I didn't know that. Because when you're growing up and people tell you you're one thing, you believe it. You don't have the experience to back it up. And so that was my kind of uh, common thread, my relationship with my great-grandfather's story. Um, people putting you in a certain class, classifying you a certain way when you're not that way. Um, and so uh, I was able to re relate to uh, his story and all these athletes' story uh, stories because of that. How'd you break through 
this sort of stigma and the labels and yeah. to discover how intelligent you were and how much yeah. you could accomplish. Um, you know, it was <laughs> it was very difficult. I, a, a story um, sticks out to me when, when I was about 10 years old, I was on a soccer team, like an intramural soccer team, and my dad sat me down at a table. It was the last game of the year. And he sat me down and he said, if you score one goal today, I'll get you one card pack. Two goals, I'll get you two card packs. Three, three, and so on and so on. And I was obsessed with sports, like Patrick Ewing, Scotty Pippen, all those guys. I love them. And I would collect all these cards. So he knew to push my buttons, like, if I scored a goal, like, get me a card pack. And so um, I I had never played so well in my life. Like, I put my, my body, my soul in that game. I just fought for, for that goal. And... Uh, you know, and I realized for the first time, if I have a want behind it, if I have a reason to succeed, I can. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I have the ability to do it. I just didn't have any reason or want behind it. Yeah. So that brings wow. us back to what you were talking before about how you feel like most of the athletes have had something that has right. given them something that's driving them for that success. Yeah. How do you see that? So I've, most of these athletes, they've been discriminated against and they're trailblazers in their specific sport. Um, and I think uh, it's kind of a similar thing with them. Uh, like Robbie Rogers, for instance, he had to hide who he was. In the locker room, there were guys making homophobic slurs. He had to hide who he was and it made him a stronger person. When he finally was able to come out and show the world who he was, um, you know, he grew a lot and, and he was able to do that and find that within himself. And I think all these athletes were able to do that because of what they have had experienced. Mm -hmm. They were able to take that and say, um, I have been, uh, you know, an outsider and now I'm going to use all of that to be a better person, to treat people the way they're supposed to be treated and uh, j just to be themselves fully. Right. So inspiring. So you know, cool. you remind me, I don't know if you ever saw the uh, Michael Jordan Hall of Fame speech, mm -hmm. but basically it was a roast. It was a roast of everybody who had ever said no or you can't to him. Oh, and wow. I suddenly discovered what it was that made Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, beside the athleticism, mm -hmm. it was his deep why. You know, right. he wanted to prove all these people wrong. So I love that right. you highlight that point in the documentary. Thank you so right. much. But it's so Thank cool. You. And we truly believe that that, that there's this universal perfection that mm. no matter what we've gone through, whether it be the hardest thing or discrimination or whatever, it's that thing that gives us our why that can be the be greatest blessing of our life. That Absolutely. Can have us, you know, yeah climb that mountain for sure mm -hmm. yeah so tell us tell them where they can find the movie yeah so you can find the movie on itunes amazon google play vandango now in demand dish tv sling all today so go check it out on itunes and amazon today so we have to say though that you just won the race right i mean to do a documentary is a huge feat to have this come out it's it's ginormous really in Thank that you. it's Thank a hard you. thing to to do so congratulations oh, yeah. on winning your you know gold medal right that means a lot yeah that means a lot yeah. for sure thank, thank you, you guys. so much thank you so much yes congratulations